In this video, we're going to learn how to measure social media ROI using Google Analytics goals and segmentation. Uh, a lot of people get wrapped up in measuring how many friends they have or how how many um, you know how how much engagement they're pushing out, how many how many tweets they can send out in a day. There's a lot of measurements for social media that you can possibly use. But what's really important for your ROI is obviously do the people come to your website and buy your product? Do they download your white paper? Do they read your articles or watch your videos? Are, are, they, are you converting them into customers or whatever it is that your goal for your business or your website is? So with this method we're going to know the real effect of social media on our business. We're going to have quick reports to measure progress at any time and you're going to be able to track any marketing campaign period whether it's social media commenting on blogs anything you're doing to try to benefit your business you can track the effectiveness of that using this method and it's going to take about five minutes for you to set it up so right now we're looking at my analytics dashboard for webapp.tv the statistics are not very impressive but my site's only been live for a week so don't be too hard on me but you can see right here I got a, in the bar graph I got it se segmented by all visits Facebook and Twitter you can see the social media bars down here um, if you come down here to site usage it gets a little more interesting like for example you can see my overall bounce rate is 55 percent but my Facebook and Twitter bounce rates are much higher so there's something wrong with the traffic that's coming from Facebook and Twitter maybe I'm getting the wrong people maybe I need to uh, make content that more directly relates to them there's something that needs to be adjusted to improve that and that might improve over time maybe a lot of those people probably came when I only had one or two videos so um, and you can see that's only out of measuring 12 people so if those 12 people are the wrong people that visited my site you know until until I've seen a few hundred people I, I really don't know what that bounce rate is going to look like um, you can see the people from Facebook average time on my site is zero I don't know how that happened um, my total visit average time of site is four minutes and 37 seconds so over a longer period of time this is only the past week but over the longer period of time I would want to really look at that and ask questions about why that's happening for now all I can do is continue to make content continue to improve the quality of my content and see if I can get those mo numbers to uh, be lower so the first thing we're going to do is jump over to advanced segments and you can see I have a, s a segment set up for Facebook Twitter and all social networks um, if you look at my Facebook segment oops let me go back here I'm gonna hit edit you can see all all it is is a segment by source that exact matches facebook.com actually I'm gonna undo case sensitive and you can if you set this up you can test your segment click test and it says this segment matches four visits so that tells me it it works I'll go ahead and delete this segment so I can show you how to uh, create it we're gonna go back to okay I, so I deleted the Facebook segment we're gonna go to create a new custom segment we want to do it by traffic sources and select source and drag it right here where it says dimension or metric keep this as matches exactly and then you just type facebook dot com test the segment we gotta have it a name test it it works create a segment the social network segment is a little different because I set this if I want to look at all of my social networks together in a group so for this one I created I drew I did the same thing traffic source drug it in there wrote Facebook then I click this add or state add an or statement and I did the same thing again drug the source and added Twitter so if I wanted to add LinkedIn I would just click add or statement source LinkedIn.com test segment 12 visits save 
So that shows you how to use this or statement and check multiple websites. Another time where you'd want to use this if it wasn't for checking all of your social networks in one group is if you're doing something like uh, blog commenting. So if you had, say, five blogs that you've picked because they're related to your website and you're going to continually blog on those, on those sites, I mean, you're going to continue to leave comments on those sites, then you would just use this or statement for each site and that way you can see how many people are clicking on your uh, comment links or uh, your name and your comments to come to your website and you can measure if you if that time is well spent and then it, you know it, you'll be able to see maybe if a lot of traffic's coming from one and not the other uh maybe you should just drop the drop the one that's not sending you as much traffic and stop spending your time typing up those comments so the next thing we need to do is set up our goals. So we're going to go over to analytics settings and click edit for the website that you want to set goals for. Uh, the first thing you want to do if you scroll down here where it says filters applied to profile, you want to add a filter that filters out your IP address. Um, you're just going to click add filter right here and what you want to do is give it a name something like my IP select predefined filter exclude traffic from the IP address from this drop-down that are equal to and you want to type in your IP address here if you don't know your IP address go to what's my IP address dot com and uh, that it'll it'll print your IP address right at the top of the page so we're gonna jump back to profile settings and for your goals, you can see I have two goals for my blog, which it's a pretty new website, so these are the only two goals I'm really concerned with right now is how many page views each visitor uh, look how many page views I get from each visitor and how much time on site the visitors spend. So if I had a white paper, that might be another goal and that might be one I have in the future, but not right now. All I'm concerned with is the engagement. So I want people to look at several pages on my website and I want them to spend time on my website so if we look at these goals you see page views I have goal set active on it's located in set one goal one it's based on pages slash visit and for condition I selected greater than two so my goal right now is just for people to look at at least three pages of my website then save that time on site you just select the time on site greater than I set it for five minutes so the reason I need both of these is because you know some of my videos are 10 minutes long so if someone watches five minutes of my video that's pretty good engagement even if even if they leave after watching that video and then if people are looking at several pages on my site maybe they don't like the first video they find maybe they're just looking around and they'll come back later and watch the videos I don't know but uh, it's still a good sign that they're engaged with what I'm doing so it's a good goal so both these are good goals for a blog if you had a download you would want to click add goal give it a name here like white you would want to use URL destination and you're gonna to want to do probably exact match and set this to see how there's an example here of my website thank you dot HTML you're gonna set this to the page that your visitor lands on after like say if you if you ask them to sign up for your newsletter they fill out that form whatever page they land on that allows them to download that report is the is the URL you want to put right there and then you can set it a goal value if you know that um, each of those subscribers is worth a dollar to you or two dollars you could set that and click save goal and I just created a new goal for white paper download I spelled it wrong but you should get the idea and that in that exact same method is what you do if you have a shopping cart and you're selling products you just want to set that URL to your thank you page that people land on after they successfully complete a purchase so once you have your goals set up you can go back to uh, view reports 
and now you will be able to let me turn on my segment we'll do um, just Facebook so now we're looking at just Facebook results compared to all results we can go over to goals I want to change this date this date range to be just over the past week that my site's been live whoops there we go and we can see I've only had one goal conversion it's pretty sad for me but hopefully in the uh, next month or so this will greatly improve <laughs> but you can see you will be able to compare your Facebook conversions to all visit conversions and and to other social network efforts so you know you may find out that your time spent on Facebook is wasted but your time spent on LinkedIn is very valuable and you want to spend more time on LinkedIn and without setting something like this up with an, a good analytics program you'd never know that so that's how you set up a free way to measure your ROI of your social media campaigns and if you have anything helpful to add or if you have any questions, post it in the comments or send me an email at hello at webapp.tv. I hope this has been useful and thank you for watching.